calibration and correction refer to calibration setting and offset correction. Let's start with calibration setting. First, we need to adjust the focal length. Put a thin piece of paper with strong color contrast in the center of the machine table and adjust the exposure to the normal. Then adjust the angle of the camera. Click focus after the image is displayed normally. Click OK to determine the focus. After that, the green box appears. Now it is the camera calibration setting. Before that, we need to adjust the laser power to not cut through the material but leave a clear mark. Then put the white paper on the machine table which covers the whole table as much as possible. Then we can start calibration. There are the steps marked in the software. First, click cut. Then set the machine size, get the data of machine size, fill in the size of a grid. The system will set the length and width to be 50 mm by default, and automatically generate the number of rows and columns. Click OK. The machine will perform cutting automatically. After that, click Photo and select the valid area which has finished cutting. Click Get Cross. If all the crosses are identified, then it will pop up calibration success. If there is any cross which is not identified, or if some crosses found to repeat, we may need manually adjust a cross that is not identified. Just double click to add one. If there are extra crosses, we should delete them. For lots of crosses that are not identified, we should first check the camera setting to see whether the exposure parameter is set. As for the software, we can increase the detection rate in advanced settings and click calibration after identification again. Here it is finished. Then let's turn to the offset correction. First, click cut cross. A red cross will be generated in the center of the format and cut. Then click photo. Zoom in the photo as much as possible. Select the red cross and drag it to make it align with the center of the cut cross. And click calibration cross. The system will prompt offset calibration success. An offset value will be displayed in X and Y boxes below. Here, the offset correction is finished. After the steps above, the camera can be used normally. We can save as a calibrated file and export it or import it into the file calibrated before. Make sure that the camera does not move or focus again before using the file. If it does, then we need to continue calibration and correction. The installation of hardware and software for a large format control system is not complicated, but it is tedious and easy to make mistakes. We should keep patient and careful. Thanks for watching our video. See you.